again, we know based on research what men and women prefer in terms of body shape, both in themselves and the opposite sex. We also know that these same preferences are the most healthy body shapes. And the other thing we know is that these preferences for these body shapes hold across all cultures. It's almost as if this is built into our evolution. So let's talk about this for a minute. First, let's talk about for men. The shape that is most beneficial for men is the V shape. The V shape, how do you know if you have the V shape versus the apple shape? What you're gonna do is you're gonna measure chest across the nipple line and you're gonna measure your waist. Where do you measure your waist? Above the belly button, but below the rib cage at the smallest portion. And you're gonna have a number, a waist and a chest measurement. You're then gonna take your waist measurement and divide it by your chest measurement to get a waist to chest ratio. We here at Metabolic Effect call this the apple measurement, the apple number, because it tells you if you're an apple shape or a V shape. The ideal is right around 0.77 based on the research, but really most men should fall between 0.7 and 0.8. The average male in the Western world is usually above 0.8. So why am I even going through this with you? Well, when you lose weight, when you test your body fat percent, you also want to look at your apple number. You also want to look at your waist to chest ratio because if you lose weight and you started at a 0.8 right on the borderline and you take this again after the weight loss and your number has gone up to 0.82, then you know not only did you not change your shape, but you made yourself a more pronounced apple shape, which is not what you want at all. So this is absolutely critical, right, for men to know. Now women, it's a little bit different because the shape for women is the hourglass shape. So they're going to take three measurements, the chest measurement across the nipple line, the waist measurement in the same place as the men are doing it, above the belly button but below the rib cage, and the hips measurement. For the hips, you just stand sideways in a mirror and measure around the largest portion of the butt muscle. And you're going to end up with two ratios. You're going to take the waist measurement and divide it by the chest measurement. There's that apple number again. And you're going to take the waist measurement and divide it by the hip measurement. And this really is the pair measurement. Interestingly, the waist to hip ratio can be used both as an apple measurement and a pair measurement. The numbers need to be symmetrical. In other words, if you're going to be a perfect hourglass, the waist to chest ratio is going to be roughly the same as the waist to hip ratio. 0.7 and 0.7 is what the research has shown us is most ideal for women, what women prefer, prefer on themselves and what men prefer on women and is also the healthiest place to be. But the numbers you're aiming for are between 0.6 and 0.8, between 0.6 and 0.8 for both the waist to chest ratio, the apple number, and the waist to hip ratio, the pear number. So if you're an apple shaped woman, same with the man. If you lose weight but you see your number going up here above 0.8, then you know you're becoming a more pronounced apple, not what you want to have happen. By the same token, if you're a pear shape and you see your waist to hip ratio going down past 0.6, you know you're becoming a more pronounced pronounced pair. So you can take your measurements where you're starting, see what your weight loss and your fat loss results are, compare the shape change numbers and know exactly what is happening to your shape so that you don't end up a softer, smaller, mushier pear shape at the end of your diet but instead end up a tight toned hourglass. 